New at 10, students and faculty at Edinburgh High School showed up to an unexpected site when they got to school this morning. CBS 4's Michelle Vargas has all the details. Police at the Edinburgh CISD are investigating an act of vandalism that they believe was done before classes resumed Tuesday morning. Chief Rick Bitta says there is reason to believe the vandalism was done as an act of rivalry between Edinburgh High School and Robert Vela High School. Since the vandals left the letters R and V spray painted on school grounds. But the most shocking sight, the decomposing hide of a bobcat left sprawled out for everyone to see. At this point, some of the, uh, the graffiti that was, that was there uh, written uh, said the words R. Vela High School which is an uh, Edinburgh School District, uh, a high school here with the Edinburgh School District. Um, so we investigate uh, the, possible, the possibility that it could be students from this, uh, from this high school. Abel Sepulveda, a junior at Edinburgh High, was one of the first to see the graffiti early Tuesday morning during his cross-country practice. He says this is not unusual, especially during football season. There was a bobcat there, but it was already skinned and dead and uh, with a big RV in the back. And I've heard stories in the past about uh, gruesome uh, things that people will get live bobcats and hang them. Bloody, you know, it's gross. Chief Perez says security has been increased leading up to the game between Vela and Edinburgh High Friday night. And although some students may pass it off as crosstown rivalry mischief, authorities remind them vandalism is a crime. We want to make sure that it does not happen again. Uh, if anybody uh, through the investigation is identified, they will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. This Friday at 7.30, the Robert Vela football team is scheduled to play at Edinburgh High School. In Edinburgh, Michelle Vargas, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. There is an ongoing investigation to find the people responsible. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the Edinburgh CISD police.